You know, Prince William is working on a brand new documentary, which is going to be aired over here in the United Kingdom in the autumn, and then no doubt uh, transmitted, syndicated around the world there very soon after. The topic of the documentary will include elements of one of the charities that's incredibly close to the Prince's heart, that of homelessness, which was started way back with his mother, Princess Diana. If you recall, of course, when they were children, both William and Harry went with Diana to the homeless centre shelter and visited people living on the streets. She wanted to give them a full perspective of what it was like for people who were less fortunate than themselves. And when you look around London today, as I'm sure in many big cities around the world, the increase in homelessness is absolutely, well, catastrophic when you think there are so many people. Of course, people who become homeless are not necessarily you know, anything to do with themselves. It can be literally the loss of a job, a breakdown in family relationships. But of course, the other bigger picture is how do they survive? Now, Prince William hopes to highlight this particular endeavour and more so the good works of the charity that he's aligned to. As we know, he's done his bit. He goes out there without the aid of publicity, trying to drum up as much support as possible. Manning the phones, you know, going out there, giving out leaflets, helping to deliver food parcels. Only recently, of course, the Prince and Princess of Wales uh, put all the food that was stolen from a recent food bank and sent it back for them so that they could carry on. A very noble gesture, I'm sure you'll agree. But you see, the bigger problem for William is this now, and it's all to do with, well, the situation with the migrants, the invasion as it's been called. You see, William recently invited the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, along with the government minister, Michael Gove, to Windsor to discuss the ongoing problem for homelessness. But over here in the United Kingdom, the biggest problem really for the British public is simply this. They're really fed up with the migrant crisis, particularly when they can't help their very own. You see, a migrant can come into England and very instantly, all thanks to being brought in by Border Force and then, of course, the Sea Rescue Company, well, they're instantly dispatched into four and five star hotels. They're instantly given a weekly allowance of around about £40 a week. They're instantly given access to mobile phones because they throw most of their mobile phones in the channel along with their papers so they can claim asylum, even though they know fully exactly where they're coming from. And as many people have pointed out, and as ever, we have to say impartiality, there's no problem from where they're turning up from. But that's the problem, you see. The government have failed to stem this influx, which is making homelessness even worse. Now, for the poor people like army veterans who are simply living on the streets that have nowhere to go, and sadly have not been invited to go and live in these four and five star hotels, much less, of course, given any money to survive on. This is going to prove very difficult for Prince William in his documentary because while they want to go out there and interview certain people, this is the theme that keeps coming back and back. Why are migrants treated better than individuals that have been living here, say, 20, 30, 40 years, who find themselves in very much reduced circumstances? Now, this, as I say, is problematic for the Prince because while his other big charity work, Earthshot, gets a lot of support, and many people do want to get behind it, it's not necessarily the current vogue thing to talk about. People are battling a cost of living crisis, and more importantly, green issues are shoved right down to the back of their mindset, as one can imagine. So while Prince William battles this latest, some might say, hot political potato, the bottom line is he really will need to focus on the people of Great Britain, one day who will become his people, and his people will decide, of course, whether the monarchy continues. Tricky ground, politically as ever, for the royal family. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.